Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are here at Elkhart, Indiana at the Keystone RV display. We are taking a look at everything new that's Keystone. We're taking a look at new brands, new floor plans, new looks, new inventory. It's gonna be super exciting. And behind me, we're actually gonna get started with the all new Cougar 316 RLS. This one has full body paint. It's the midnight edition. What's really exciting is we did sell Cougar at only one of our stores and we just became a Cougar dealer at our headquarters in Wixom, Michigan, which is really exciting, which means <laughs> it's Kev, which oh, means man. we will be able to have more Cougar videos coming to you soon. Kev, this is not planned. I didn't see you in here. That is true. But talk about OG for Matt's RV reviews. If you guys go back to the very, 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 very beginning, I think my first video was with you, wasn't it? It was at Leo's Vacation Center. Yes, what's up, my shout man? out Bob. Shout out, shout out Bob and Bye, Greg. Greg, what's happening, guys? Hey, so, um, are, are you the re um guy for uh, General and Wixom? No, that's Nate Lent. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So David's brother. Yes. Nice. Industry is a small industry, but welcome to the show, Kevin. What? Even, you're, you're still a Cougar, even though not General Cougar. That is true. Tell us a little bit about what's super exciting about this unit. Well, here with the midnight edition of the paint unit, you get a full body paint and a high gloss medallion sidewall. You also get ABS brakes, you get frameless windows, you get a glass entry door. Are you doing those slippered ABS brakes? Correct. Amazing. I did not know that. And then in addition, we have the SolarFlex 440 package along with two 100 amp lithium ion batteries. Very That's nice. Love the flush floor. Flush floor, new ceiling fan, um, new interior wood. Your cabin trees, you have new hardwood, and then everything now went to a soft close. I can show you up here on your soft close doors. Nice. Maybe a little bit more residential. So as you can see, up here in the bathroom, I'll show you what are, we did. Are um, dealers and customers loving the Midnight Edition? Loving it. Yeah, yeah, we did great with it at Hershey. You get a window now in your bathroom with a double dandy sink. Very nice. So here in the master bedroom, obviously, as you know, with Cougar, one of our features, you have a king bed slide. And then we um, incorporate a little additional storage here. Love it. And then here on your king bed slides, and you also get washer dryer prep with your wardrobe. Love that. So, Thank you yeah. so much. One, sorry for popping in on you. No, it's great. I, I, I know you're probably on a break. It's a long week for you. Yeah, you know, after Hershey, we had a great Hershey, and then rolling right here into open house. So the mom no momentum with us is continuing. So awesome. Yeah. Well, we're we're actually going to take a look at that Cougar half ton over there in just a second all right so next up we're taking a look at the cougar half ton this one is a couple's model nice little outside kitchen there goodyear endurance tires floor plan 25 mle i mean these are just good looking trailers good looking trip oh excuse me hi jen are you guys on your way Oh, I'm at Keystone. Come and find me. All right, I'm down the aisle with the Cougars. All right, bye. Yeah, that's Will and Jen. They're on their way. That's funny because I actually thought I would have to do this video all by myself. But it looks like they are on their way to find me. Nice porcelain toilet. Man, that was so great running with Kevin. Kevin truly is one of the absolute best factory reps I've ever had. And, um,. Oh, this is the new super lightweight Cougar. We'll take a look at that one as well. Only because we, we never see Cougars. But but again, we are going to start seeing them more. This one's only 7,260 7, pounds. And there's people in there, so we won't step in it. But if you look at that floor plan, oh, it's the Cougar Sport. But yeah, Kevin's always done a fantastic job. There's Will and Jen. Hi. How's it going? Good. I was just uh, taking a look at some Cougars. I'm call you Tropicana. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So Nexus, they like, one Nexus actually did get two prime pooping positions, nice. like real ones. Yeah. And they decorated their bathrooms orange and they put a crown on my head. Did they? <laughs> yep. That's Hang cool. on, actually. Sure, was it a crown or a dunce hat? <laughs> no, it was a crown. We might be able to see this one now. Okay. It's the new Cougar Sport. And I saw Kevin Horky. Okay. Did you? Yeah. Okay, Will's going to go get some pizza. Okay. Josh. All right, 2400 RE. Yeah, this then. Well, come and look at this first. Oh, see, I like this. Look at what they did here. 
Oh, cool. Like a little desk oh, area. That is cool. Very nice, lightweight cougar. Yeah, just entry. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a window. Oh. I thought it was a window at first. I'm like, why would you have a window on the ground? Right. Very cool. Nice refrigerator. Take it away, Will. <laughs> nice kitchen space. I actually like this. There's like decent countertop space right there. Yeah. Looks like it's like a concrete looking kind of. Nice countertop. dinette that turns into a bed as well. Yeah. So, what, what's the deal with this? Like, that must be like a desk. Does, like, does, like, I like know, a but, the, but does it fold out or is it like a separate table you can move around? No, no. It flips up like that. Nice. So we just need it. And when the desk goes up, it's just like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's check this out. Right there. Nice. Nice good size shower. Dude, let me tell you something, Lil. For 7,260 pounds, this is pretty big yeah, spacious and punch, nice. Huh? Yeah. Cougar Sport, General yeah. RV and Wixom now. Did you show the uh, midnight one? Yes, I did. There it is. Watch your step there. All right, well, go get some pizza. No, I already ate uh, pizza. <laughs> pizza. We, we hey, ate. sit at that table where, where we were yesterday. Okay. So I got the batteries charging. Okay. We, are, we already ate too. Oh, uh, yeah, a small piece of Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So it looks like the uh, passport got a new facelift. You guys, take a look at this. Nice. So we got some music playing, so we're going to cut. All right, and we're back. So this is the new look of the Passport GT. Looks like they're doing the power stabilizing jacks there. And then this is a rear entertainment unit. If you want to take a look at the floor plan. Nice. Looks like a king size bed with a slide out. Absolutely beautiful. Passport is another brand that I've just always liked. And it's funny, years past they've kind of been going a little cheaper and cheaper with Passport. And it looks like this year, they're trying to bring that quality yeah. back up, bring that <clears throat> fanciness back up. I mean, look at these nice plush seats yeah. right here. <clears throat> I remember when we were at Leo's, Passports were pretty popular. Yeah. I Very like the, popular, I like the lighter. lighter. Well, we, we sell a lot of them at our Ocala store as well. Okay. Cool uh, cabinet handles. Yes. Very nice TV, Innofame fireplace, nice kitchen island. Now, the Passport is like a step below a Cougar. And so you're not going to get like solid surface countertops, but this is going to give you a lot bigger unit at a um, lighter, at a lighter weight. Yep. Right over here, we do have a nice table that drops down and makes a bed. I like the boost style dinette too. Oh, um, classic toilet. Oh, wow. Wow. Still a nice size bathroom. Just load you down. It's going to get heavier. And then right here, this is what's really impressive. King size bed on a slide out. I mean, you never see this. This is... It's crazy. We're in a travel trailer. This feels as spacious as your bedroom in your fifth wheel. I know, and the ceilings are high because they did the radius. Yes, roof. and it is prepped for two AC units. Nice storage above there. Nice. Very, very nice. Before we take, oh. What's in there? Just making sure it wasn't prepped for washer dryer. It is prepped for hey. a washer dryer. Good eye, Jen. Good Thank eye. You. Now, before we take a look at the next units, we got a lot more keystones to see. Let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's episode. Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lippert customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips, don't wait. Be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. All right, and we're back with something else new. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it. I'm like, is it new? I don't know if it's new, but then there's a sign that says introducing. Yeah. So this is the uh, Outback OBX. And it looks like they're trying to compete with like the Art Pod or something like that. Right? Look at that. I love the way this looks. 
You have this uh, the lippert jacket for the bikes. Looks small, really yeah. adventurous. OBX means outer banks usually, so I don't know if they're like trying to play off Pocket that. Sized off road luxury, OBX, or like Outback Extreme or something like that. Yeah. Take a look at the inside, Jen. All right. Oh, I love that window in there. Solid steps. Oh, wow, this is cool. I love the wallpaper yes. in here. Yes, very oh. nice. This is going to be lightweight, nice. so per single axle. Yeah, permanent bed. You got a TV there, uh, power up there. Oh, look, they're doing the new light strip as well. Oh, I like that. It's yeah. cool. It's flickering on the camera, but in is real it? life, it's not. Um, you got your little dinette there, small kitchen. Yeah, we got to figure out if it flickers because if yeah, it does. Yeah, it's flickering. Wow, yeah. Um, you got your uh, little bunk beds here, and then I like how you can flip this up, probably. Oh, you know yeah, you can. There you go. A lot of times, yeah. It was dim. Yeah, whenever it's dim, I notice that. So you got bunk beds here, those flip up, and then there's a door on the outside, so you can use that to put, you know, your bikes, outside storage and everything. Do you think the lights don't actually dim, but they slow down the frequency? Um. Or do they dim? No, I mean, they... They dim, but I, but I, it must like change the frequency once you dim them. As you can see, this is fantastic. In these small trailers, I love these big windows here. It's super spacious and important to have. And just so you guys know, we do sell Outback at our Ohio location. But when we get to these really popular brands, um, you know, I was talking to Kevin. I'm like, hey, are we gonna pick them up at any other Generals? And you know, there when your territory is already covered nationwide, it's really really mm -hmm. tough this reminds me of the uh windows on the european motorhomes and yes stuff. so they have the nighttime shades or the daytime ones very nice and then there's a traditional outback behind let's take a look at that one all right and no i'm not joining the campers and team andrea made me wear orange today at nexus <laughs> There's people in there. All right. So yeah. let's pop into a Montana. Yeah, this one's pretty. Montana Legacy. I'm liking the colors. Excuse me. Thank you. Yeah, Jesse. 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 Thank you. <laughs> nice to see you. All right. This is a 35, 31. Oh RE. wow! This is this really is cool in here. Dang! <laughs> you know what I should have done? Sheesh! You know I should have done the campers what? and I should have like gone in like pretend like I was part of their meeting. <laughs> See how long it takes them to notice? Right. Dang! This is this. cool. I you know what it is? This. No dinette. Yep. Well, I mean, you got bar style dinette. Right. But like, but this it's, it doesn't take up as much space because. Right. And now it's in the living room. And look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is what we need, honestly. Because when you're there... But you know what? The flowometry is going to suck. It, it will of the kitchen. Yep. The kitchen still sucks. <coughs> but still, this but is But Matt's not cooking nice. in our kitchen very often. Well, I cooked in your mom's kitchen. Thank you very much. Yeah, that was frozen pizza. <laughs> I still cooked it. You <laughs> why do, why it. do we go to my mom's house that day, too? To play rummy. <laughs> so, I was recovering from the Tampa show, or Hershey, uh, Hershey show. I'm sunburnt, my hands are all burnt. And Jen's like, what do you want to do today? I'm like, can we just make frozen pizza and cookies, cookies. and uh, play Rami at your mom's house? <laughs> and that's what we did. We sure did. So nice sectional, I assume. Yeah, probably these two recline yeah. and these two, those two recline. I wow, bet. this is beautiful in here. And then you still get that big window um, at the back. So you can put the TV down if you want. Fireplace, JBL sound system. I'm loving. I like these chairs too. This like, is nice. I like the white countertop. This is a nice kitchen. Yeah. Again, you know, it is gonna mess up. <clears throat> I almost rather not have this. I almost this yes. Right I almost rather like put this, just have that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of agree. I don't know. It just depends. Like the flow is bad, oh, but if on, you're cooking bad. a lot. Sorry. Check out this bathroom. Oh, that's you nice. can come on in, Phil. It's all good. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Nice Thank shower you. system. Just come out to Canada and do our uh, videos too. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Canada, don't you know? Hey. 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 Right here we have a nice king size bed here. 
Good storage up here. Prep for a stackable washer dryer. See, this is actually surprising. Like this ain't this isn't a Montana. It's a Montana Legacy, so I would expect every option. Yeah. Um, really nice storage and everything. Yep. Awesome. Let's keep on taking a look at some more Keystone units. Great. So next up, we're gonna take a look at the Alpine and the Avalanche. Now they did a rebranding of Avalanche, and we're not gonna take a look at it this video because Will and Jen actually did a review. It's called the Alpine Avalanche Edition. Um, and so we're gonna take a look at this one, which is just a traditional Alpine. So uh, let's take a look at this. No, but remember you did say they are still gonna do separate avalanches. Okay. But oh, nope, there's people in there as well. Alpine so we'll Avalanche Edition is just its own like trim level of an Alpine. Got it, got it. So wait, they are still doing They're avalanches? Still doing avalanches. Oh. I don't know why they don't have any here. I don't think they have any. But he, I don't know if he said it like that. Did I'm he? pretty sure he said they will still do avalanches. Okay. But he did Alpine Avalanche Edition so that it, it was something about, you know, when Al, Alpine o, RV Owners Group gets together, like Avalanche. Wasn't. No idea. We'll just wait and see whatever yeah. shows up on the dealership lot. So uh, let's take a look at this one since there's people in that one. Even though there's people in this one, so we'll wait. But take a look at the outside first. Right. I love this beautiful full body paint job. 102 inch wide body on the Alpines. Nice frameless windows. Look at this incredible storage here. Super, super nice. Yeah, that's big. Double power awnings with LED lights. Now, the Alpine is a sister product to the Montana, but not that last Montana that we were just in. That was a Montana Legacy. Mm -hmm. So that one was definitely more higher end. Right. Um, but this looks really good. They're gonna use hydraulic slides on all of these. And you know what? Let's go in this Fusion while we wait. Okay. What's going on, brother? Which one's new? Oh. But like new, new, like never new, before like, seen. Well, I mean, which one's your favorite then? This has never been seen, just this is the first one that we've made. Perfect. It's a shorter version of the uh, 367. Yeah. So it gives you that, you know, you know, just over 36 feet, 11 foot garage, bath and a half, gives that lighter weight aspect. Nice. Let's take a look at it. I did pop in here with Will yesterday. We, I don't think we showed it, but we were okay. like, I did take a look at it while we were killing time. Yes, oh, it has a bar that. in the garage, which is cool. Now, this isn't your traditional Fusion. <laughs> this is your Fusion Impact yep. Edition. Nice uh, theater seats right here. It's more of like your budget, yep. lighter weight. Fusion. Exactly. TV. Oh, yeah. And then look at this. They put the bar right in here. I actually love this. Yeah. See, that's all I need, right? I just, just want to eat me a sandwich. Right? I just want to watch a family eat. <laughs> <laughs> Did you watch my TikToks I sent you? I did. You showed me that one twice. Theo Vaughn is freaking hilarious. Right. If you guys like Theo Vaughn, drop it in the comments. Nice ramp door. <laughs> D ring tie downs. I didn't, yesterday they I saw have a it. washer dryer. It, it does come with bar stools. It was here yesterday. I don't know oh yeah, for sure. But it does come with those. Little half bath right here. Nice. And again, this isn't your traditional fusion. This is your impact fusion, which is just a lot better price point. Hey, it's about to die. It's okay. Okay. We'll wrap it up here, and then we'll finish with a new battery after we get pizza. After we get pizza. Very nice, and then wrap it all up. We have a very nice bedroom right here. All right. New battery, Jen. We're now taking a look at this Alpine. Again, as you can tell, when you start on the inside, you can't really tell the difference much between, between an Alpine and a Montana. They're both very nice, super wide bodies, mm -hmm. really nice and premium. I, I'm loving what I'm seeing here. Yeah. It looks really, really good. Nice. This is a big kitchen island, actually. Yes. Nice saltzers, kind of. Oh, let's see. Where's the stove? Oh, so you get a lot of countertop space because instead of the stove being here, yes. you put it on the end here. I like that because that, then your all your prep space is over yeah. here. So you get your microwave and then you get like a residential vent hood. So yeah. this is really nice. Well, high end looking. I like the backsplash. Can you see if you can fix the uh, lights in the bedroom? Yes, I, I will. I can see them flickering right here. I don't know how you do it, but this definitely looks like a pull-out. That is a pull-out peninsula. <clears throat> Let's see. Where's the light switch? There we go. There you go. So before we do that, take a look at this bathroom here. And then king-size bed. Nice big closet with mirrors. And let's see, I bet you it's washer-dryer prepped. Yep. Nice. Stackable washer and dryer, more hanging storage in there. Yes. Dresser drawers, TV. Very, very nice. Nice. And guys, let us know if you're loving these tours. Um, you know, we're trying to bring you new stuff, exciting stuff, 
these aren't our normal reviews but we're just kind of highlighting the 2024 stuff so with that said let's finish up this display and if we see something that we're selling we'll pop in yeah and again big shout out to will and jen for really not picking up the slack but picking up the slack with see they only make this show three days long it's hard to hit so Alexa. will and jen they were doing some reviews here yep. and they did one on this one so make sure you guys check it out yep also matt they're doing a uh, liver has a new leveling system out nice. so i don't know if they're replacing the level up or if it's just a different one but it's it's like kind of cool feet because it's not it's like a plastic coating so it doesn't i don't think it'll dig into the ground as much nice and very they said cool. it's lighter so very cool i see it on a lot of the keystones here yep so let's go down this way and i think there's one more that we wanted to show you guys yep. all right so the final unit's going to be the keystone arcadia we're popping in this one i don't know if it's a new floor plan or not we're going to discover it, it together no it is okay it is and um Jen, what what's Arcadia's did you guys do a review on? So we did one on um, a rear kitchen down there. That was the one that had the cool like dinette bar style seating at the entertainment okay. center. So like multi-use dinette space. And then I'm trying to remember, I think we might have done this one here. I want to say we didn't do this one though. Make sure you guys sure. stay tuned. Oh, hold on. I think oh. Okay, we're actually gonna pop in this one. No, I do not. I have no problem leaving that in the footage. Did you do a review on this one? Oh, yeah, we did. Okay, well, still, we're, we're going to show it. Yeah. Little sneak peek. Make sure you guys stay tuned, stay subscribed to the show. I like Arcadia because they do really cool, like, residential furniture. Yes. modern-looking brown leather. And Will and I liked how they put the dinette over here. It's kind of different. Very nice. So... They give you a big pantry, lots of storage space. Oh yeah. So, and then Sh show that bedroom real quick. Kitchen. We'll just be one minute. No problem, buddy. How are you? Excellent. How about you? Good. Nice bathroom. And then like a north to south bed in here. So, like Matt said, guys, Will and I did a full review on this unit. So this will probably be coming out first. But make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already for the full review of this now, Arcadia. Let's get a picture. Yeah. yeah. So anyways, I watched those. Great, so it just met a very nice gentleman and looks like we might be on a, another dealership store shelves with Liquefied. That's exciting. Uh, coming very soon. So that's really cool. Cause what, what we're trying to do is take Liquefied to retail now, you know, and help all my brethren dealerships, the ones that like me anyway, <laughs> and um, you know, sell some toilet chemical and really to help you guys as well, to make it easier for you guys to get, for those who, guys who don't want to buy on Amazon, um, eBay, Walmart.com, or at your local General RV. So, and we probably won't work with a dealership that's close to a General RV, right? It got to be somewhere in the yeah. boonies, you know? So, um, very cool. Thank you guys so much for joining. I think we do one more. Do oh, we do yeah? that Radiance? That Residence? Residence? I think, I think that's one you already did a review on at Tampa. Oh, well, perfect. Will, Will and I looked in there, and I'm pretty sure you guys did that one already. Very good. Very good. I just saw it. Caught my yeah. eye. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, drop a comment. Let us know if you're liking these tours here in Elkhart, Indiana. And make sure you guys join us again tomorrow for another tour here from Open House.